Hello, hello, everybody. How is everyone doing? Hope you guys are having an awesome weekend so far. Well, at least the weather here in North Dakota is a little nicer, so maybe you guys can go outside and get some fresh air. I know my family is stir crazy, so we have just been waiting patiently for this nice weather. Hello, everybody. We are gonna make lunch lady brownies today. My iPad is dead. Let me go for one more. Uh, so I'm gonna leave. I am going to leave the sharing up to you guys because I think both of my iPads are dead, and so I cannot share the video, which is a bummer. Hello, Sue. How are you? We're going to be making lunch lady brownies today and we're going to be talking a little bit about <clears throat> the new partnership that I um, am in. I feel like the screen is kind of fuzzy. Let's clean you guys off really fast. There we go. There, not so hazy anymore. Sorry guys. Um, so we are going to make lunch lady brownies today and we're going to talk a little bit about my new partnership with dopamine threads, um, which I'm ex super excited to announce and kind of talk to you guys about. Um, I had a meeting with them, um, through zoom yesterday. Um, really nice conversation with two of the main founders of the company. I put the link for the company in the description of this video so that you guys can, um, check out their page, um, eventually or shortly they will be providing me with a, um, a code for you guys to use so that we can track your purchases so that um, we can keep the connection between the two companies there. So um, if you do want to purchase from Dopamine Threads, just hold out for a little bit um, until I provide the code for you guys so that it can be tracked accordingly. We are going to be making these brownie lunch lady brownies my lunch lady never made a brownie like this they look amazing made the pineapple pretzel again dang i love it sue it's addicting it really is when i make it um, I usually make it for a party and I make several bowls of it and there's usually none left it is so good hi dad hello lacy um so my iPad is dead, bear with me. I'm gonna try and share to some groups through my laptop, which usually doesn't work, but I'm going to try my best to get it to work today. Hello, Eileen. Jennifer, how are you? Um, don't forget to share this video, you guys, into um, Facebook groups that you're a part of. Share directly to your Facebook page. Don't start a watch party because then I can't see those peop people. I can't see their comments. I can't talk to them. And especially their view numbers don't count. So then we don't hit our giveaway goals. Remember, we have giveaways 40, 80, and 120 live views that stay there through the length of the show. We do the giveaway at the end of the show. And to get entered into the giveaway, you just need to leave a reaction on the post, which is a heart, a smile a wow, a mad face, a crying face, any of those um, reactions work. They get you entered in. Um, your name gets put into a list for me and I put the list of names into a random name generator at the end of the show so you guys can win something. I give away free items to show my appreciation back to you guys for um, supporting me, sharing my video, and things like that. So, Hello, Nicole and Christy. We are gonna be making these lunch lady brownies today, you guys. I'm super excited because I've never made a brownie like this. Um, and if I'm being honest, I feel like um, the only brownies I've ever made actually were the boxed kind. So these will be my first ever homemade brownies. So we're gonna get started. I wasn't able to share this video so if you guys want to share it yourselves, I would really, really appreciate it. Get the word out there. Um, even more exciting news, um, what's for dinner? The the cooking group that I'm a part of uh, chose one of my pictures from Mom Feeling Hungry Boys as their cover photo in the group, which is super exciting and awesome and a, and a great honor for me. So if you guys don't follow what's for dinner as a cooking group, you guys should. I highly recommend it. Super awesome. Um, super awesome page, super helpful, lots of awesome people, um, yeah. So, I am just trying one more time to share this to my personal page, and I still can't even figure it out, you guys. All right. I tried. 
it's not gonna work. Like I said, you guys, super excited to announce. Hi, Ashley, Kathy, and Deb. Super, super excited to announce that I have created a partnership with um, a company called Dopamine Threads. Um, they are a company they sell t-shirts um, and a portion of each t-shirt sold goes towards um, foundations that help people that are addicted to get the help that they need um, and the aftercare and things like that um, I personally have lost a friend um, Alexis to addiction um, sadly she lost her life a couple years ago um, and a little fact that you guys probably don't know about me but I am a recovering um, opiate addict um, I have a couple years clean um, I struggled with it all my life in high school I had um, over 18 years clean and then I relapsed again um, and have been clean since that relapse so this is a company that's very near and dear to my own heart um, I think that they're doing a really wonderful thing um, they sell t-shirts um, that have dopamine threads written on it um, I am going to be working with them. I'm going to be promoting their page and they're going to be promoting mine. Um, you guys are going to see um, in a couple days or so I'm going to do a personalized video telling my story um, and telling and explaining kind of how cooking in this show has really helped um, in my recovery and keeping myself sober and clean. Jennifer, I can share it, it just won't let me direct where it goes, so it just keeps wanting to share it to my Mom Feeling Hungry Boys page, which obviously it's already there. So, um, just if you guys want to buy from Dopamine Threads, just wait a couple of days, they're gonna provide me with a promotional code so that it can track you guys purchasing t-shirts from them so that we're able to kind of track um, the progress of what our partnership um, is doing and how it's growing. So. Thank you, Anita. You guys, hello, Brent and Heather. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, I am ready to make these lunch lady brownies. For whatever reason, I feel like the whole description of the video isn't there. Um, so I might have to add it again later. I'm not sure why. But we are going to be making lunch lady brownies today, you guys. I swear, if my lunch lady ever made brownies like this, I probably would have been a very heavy kid in school. Uh, <laughs> hello, hello. Thank you, Sue. You guys are so sweet. I really appreciate it. Um, you guys are awesome. Um, the support that you guys give me is super important to me. Um, and I appreciate all that you guys do um, to support my page and me. All right. For whatever reason, I am just a mess today with this post. I want to... All right, well, it's not going to let me add the description back in. And I'm not sure where it went or why it's not there. Hmm. Okay, sorry guys. Totally distracted today. Um, I've been running around the house all morning, but... We're gonna get going. We are gonna make these lunch lady brownies. So your oven should be preheated to 350. Mine is still preheating, but I'm sure making these, we will have enough time to heat our oven. So if you guys are baking with me, um, oven to 350, 350 degrees. Now we are gonna get our pan ready. You wanna use a nine by 13 baking pan. I am going to try and use my Pampered Chef brownie pan. So it makes little individual brownies instead of one big sheet. Um, what I'm excited about this is it's kind of like a portion control for me so I don't just take a huge piece and eat it all. So you're one of the lunch ladies at our school. Do you make these kind of brownies at school? I feel like, I mean, I had um, we had lunch ladies, obviously, but I went to a school in Las Vegas, so it was a really big school, and we had very, like, commercialized food packet things that they just, like, reheated. They didn't make themselves, so it never got anything like this, and we got, like, these little birthday cake muffin things once a month, but they were, like, prepackaged in cellophane. They weren't homemade. So you're gonna wanna spray this. You guys can put a piece of parchment paper down. Um, it says here to um, spray, put foil down and spray the foil with nonstick spray. I'm just gonna use nonstick on my Pampered Chef pan and just hope that they come out of here um, without having to put individual parchment papers on here. 
Yes, I hope they take a good nap too. Eileen, I'm so excited. Thank you for telling me you're baking with me today. We are making lunch lady brownies. So they're like these frosted brownies. They look phenomenal. And I'm really excited to make my very first homemade brownie. Sandy, I'm excited for this pan. Um, I have not had an opportunity to use it yet, except for um, those uh, cheeseburger biscuit bombs I used it for, but that's not a brownie. So I'm excited to use it today. Thank you guys for sharing. Say hello to everybody. Um, I always wipe out my bowls and my pans and stuff since they've been sitting in the cupboard. You never know what creepy crawlies have gotten inside of them. So our oven's at 350. Our pan is sprayed. Now an electric mixer or hand blender. Somebody did ask me, can I use um, uh, egg beaters or electric mixer? Yes, you can. You don't have to have a stand mixer for this recipe, but we're going to do melted butter and cocoa powder we're going to mix them together so we're going to do a cup of melted butter and half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder so my favorite unsweetened cocoa powder is the nestle's cocoa powder um oh i forgot to flip my camera today sorry you guys i'm sure my kitchen looks backwards to all of you um so um i love the nestle's unsweetened cocoa powder it's my favorite you can use the hershey's that's another brand um that i do recommend um, I'm going to use unsal or salted butter today. It doesn't actually say in the recipe what to use, unsalted or salted. Hello, hello, everybody. Megan, hello. For your bowl on the mixer. Yes, Rox Roxy. I definitely can put the link for the bowl my husband bought me um, for Christmas. I love, love, love it. Um, they have a bunch of different colors. Um, um, really, really awesome items. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna melt my butter. You guys know um, I always recommend when you're melting your butter to do just short bursts of heat. You don't want to overheat your butter because then it will boil and separate and the integrity of the butter won't really be there. So um, it's not a huge deal, it's just something that I do recommend um, when you are trying to melt butter. So a cup of melted butter and then half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. I'm going to be using my um, Pampered Chef measuring cups today. So I did about 15 seconds. Um, I opened it up and I'm going to do another 10 seconds. You just kind of want to stop it from overheating that butter so that it's not all bubbly. Um, another, let's do another 10 seconds and then it should be all melted up and we're going to mix it in our stand mixer with our cocoa powder. Hello Kirsten, how are you? Yes, you guys, I'm sorry. I'm sure my kitchen looks totally backwards today. I'm so sorry. Um, let me see. Usually I can switch it after the fact. Let's see. There you go. Now my kitchen should look correct to you guys. Sorry about that. I totally forgot to do it today. So we have our melt butter all melted up. I'm going to pour that into the mixer. Grab my handy dandy spatula. I love this spatula too, you guys. It's long and skinny, so you're not having um, mix or batter or whatever up on the stick of your spatula. I really like it um, for scra scraping around the edge of bowls as well. It's super, super nifty for that. There we go. Hello, Daisy and Gigi. Yes, it will blow up and explode all over your microwave if you are not careful with how you melt your butter, you guys. So my oven is preheated to 350. I'm trying to scoop out my cocoa powder. What I love about these um, Pepper Chef measuring cups, a lot of things, but this one specifically because it comes with a little um, scraper to even out the tops of your ingredients, which I really like um, so I don't have to dirty a spoon all the time. It is a super cool spatula, you guys. So we're gonna mix our butter and our cocoa powder in together first. And then we're gonna blend it until smooth, it says. It tells you to use a paddle attachment. For whatever reason, I just really don't like my paddle attachment. I like the fact that it scrapes the edge of the bowl. I just don't feel like it gives me that mix or that frothiness that I really like with the whisk attachment. It's not sharp. This, oh, this isn't sharp. It's just nice and flat, little plastic to um, even off the top of your measuring cups and stuff. So I'm gonna scrape down the sides of the bowl. Just let that cocoa powder get nice and mixed in. Let's 
gonna be a chocolatey day. I already have chocolate on my hands. So I'm just gonna mix it a little bit more. And then we're gonna add in our flour and our sugar. Just nice and smooth, you guys. No lumps or chunks in there with your cocoa powder. I'm gonna set that on my butter wrapper. <laughs> Everyone says hi, babe. It does look like a machete. Everyone says hi, Rory. All right, so we've got our butter and our unsweetened cocoa powder. Now we need two cups of flour and two cups of sugar. As I'm coming over here, got my, we are gonna still need our unsweetened cocoa powder, so don't put it away away. We will need it for our frosting that we make. Um, I've already made a huge mess of cocoa powder on my station. Um, I wish there was an easier way to scoop cocoa powder out, but there is. So we're gonna do two cups of flour, two cups of sugar. Yes, the long spatula, it looks crazy looking, but it is so useful. So two cups of each. So one cup of flour, just all purpose flour. Um, you can use any brand you guys like. So one, two cups of flour and two cups of granulated sugar. So funny, I sent my husband to the store to get some more granulated sugar and it took him a while to figure out what that meant. Um, obviously with me saying granulated, he thought it might have been different than regular sugar, but it wasn't. It was kind of cute. He's cute when he goes to the store. So we're gonna mix this in. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna mix this in. And then, add the flour and the sugar, beat together, and then we're gonna add the eggs and the vanilla. I am gonna use my powdered vanilla again today. I have been loving it, you guys. I love these containers, these um, OXO containers. Awesome, I got them in like a 12 pack at Tonga. It's super awesome and inexpensive. Really, really um, recommend them. I'm gonna scrape down the sides of the bowl. It's kind of a um, sandy mixture so far. Like I said, these are my first homemade brownies, you guys. So I'm not sure what they're supposed to look like. I'm not sure um, anything really. But, so it's kind of a rough coarse sand right now. I am scraping down the sides and I'm gonna give it one more spin because I do see some flour and some sugar in there. So mix it in, kind of looks like Oreo cookie crumbs or something, super yummy. Um, then we're gonna take my container that I put my butter in, I'm gonna use to crack my eggs into it because you guys know that I always crack shells into my food and I don't wanna do that today. So I'm gonna crack it into my bowl. You need four large eggs. Um, one of my viewers did teach me to crack them on the counter and they are less likely to get shells inside of them compared to if you crack them on the edge of something, which I have found to be pretty accurate. So I'm gonna put my eggs in there. I'm washing off my hands quick. You don't want eggs on anything. And then I'm using my powdered vanilla, you guys. I highly recommend this powdered vanilla. Yes, Sandy, I'm assuming so, okay? So we're just, that's why I'm gonna try to describe this to you so that um, you don't feel like you're doing something wrong. It does look like a very fine grained sand or like Oreo crumb in our mixer right now. So we've got four eggs, large eggs. The boys are really lucky. I made a really yummy um, banana bread banana bread bars with brown butter cream cheese or frosting and it's they were phenomenal last night so we need four teaspoons of vanilla extract so if you don't have the vanilla powder vanilla extract is actually what the recipe calls for but um, um, this vanilla powder I will put the link for it in the just in the comment section when I'm all done today. Highly recommend this company. Um, super, super good. Concentrated flavor. It doesn't have any alcohol in it. So, or, yeah, alcohol in it. So we're doing four teaspoons of vanilla. That's a lot of vanilla. So um, it doesn't bake off. It doesn't leave any kind of alcohol residue flavor. Um, I really like to use it in recipes that I don't bake because then it, you know, if you don't bake it, it doesn't have the opportunity to burn that extract off. 
so that flavor still kind of lingers. Um, so I like the fact that this powder is very concentrated and full of flavor. I started making our um, pancakes for breakfast with it, and my husband said it's the best pancakes I have ever made. So I recommend this Dr. Sheikah's vanilla powder. Super good, you guys. Hello, Mary Jo, how are you? Yes, Heather, um, Target has them as well. So we're going to um, mix this just until combined. Do not over mix. It says the batter will be thick. So I'm gonna stop it for a second. I am gonna scrape down the sides again. Make sure we get all of that crumb in there on the edge and let it mix up again. Just until combined. I'm gonna take the head of this off and kind of bang it out so that all of that stuff that has worked its way up into the whisk comes back out. And then I'm gonna do it one more short mix. And we should be good to go there. All right, so now we're going to pour the batter into the prepared sheet and spread it out evenly. And we're gonna bake it for 25 to 30 minutes. Now we're gonna make our frosting too. Don't forget you guys to leave a reaction on the post to get entered into the giveaway. Um, the brand of vanilla powder is called Dr. Sheikah's um, Vanilla Powder. You can get it on Amazon or you can get it directly on their website. Super, super yummy, super good. It's okay, Heather. These mixers are expensive, so it is definitely an investment, but it is a good investment to have if you are a baker of any kind. Um, so we are going to add our batter to our sheets. I am going to grab out my scoopers and hopefully I can get more even distribution um, by using one of my scoopers instead of trying to just eyeball it. So I'm gonna just scoop it out. Obviously if you just, oh I've already made a mess. If you just have a baking pan, you just spread it in there super easy and even it out and then you're ready to go. So I'm gonna just do a big scoop in all of them until they're all full and then go back and add more as we go. Just like that. Thank you, Brooke, you're so sweet. I actually took a shower today, washed my hair. Ooh, flinging it around. Um, yeah, super awesome, you guys. I am super excited about partnering with that company, um, Dopamine Threads. Look into it, you guys. They are super awesome company. They do have a Facebook page and a website, so check them out. Do some research. See if you guys are interested in buying a t-shirt, which helps um, other addicts get the treatment that they need. So a part of the donation goes to funds to help those kids or adults that need help. All right. I'm making a mess, you guys. I'm doing what I can. Do I have a kitty in the background? <laughs> Somewhere? Yes, I'd be lost without my KitchenAid mixer as well. Ooh, they have them on sale. Yes, Brooke, this pan from Pampered Chef. I'm super excited. I hope that um, they come out really yummy and delicious. So, I've got some batter left. I am going to try and smooth these down to see if I should add more, or I have another Pampered Chef pan that makes little bitty um, brownie bites, and I might use that, but we will see. Kind of spread them out. So if you've got just one big baking pan, you guys just even it out in your big pan, and then we will bake it, put it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. 25 to 30 minutes to bake these yummy brownies. <laughs> I'm trying my best to spread them around without having to dirty another utensil to do so. I'm gonna add a little bit to some of these that got a little short. I'm gonna scoot you guys down, see if you guys can see that. The mess that I am making with these brownies. I love these scoops, these cookie scoops that my dad got me are life-saving. I'm just gonna fill these suckers up. That's what I decided. Just fill it up. Then we'll put them in the oven 
and bake them and we will make their frosting for them. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Crazy looking little brownies. Not the prettiest thing. And I'm starting to doubt the fact that they'll come out of the pan, but I did spray them all over, so we will see. Just kind of scraping out the last little bit, adding them in here. This is what I love about this spatula, you guys. You just come right around the edges and scrape them down without getting all of the brownie mix on the handle or the stick part of it, your spatula. Kind of just scoop it up the sides. These are the messiest, you guys. Or I'm just the messiest, one of the two. Yes, Charity. Late to the party again, Susan, it's okay. We are making Lunch Lady Brownies, which are brownies with some frosting on them. So that is what we are making today. I've never made homemade brownies before, so this is a first for me. I am excited to try them. They are messy so far, but I think the messier the dessert, the more delicious it is, is gonna be my motto today. I'm gonna just kinda clean this up a little bit. <laughs> I wonder if like banging the pan down We'll flatten these out a little bit. I just feel like they're so thick that it probably won't work. All right, I'm gonna keep an eye on mine because they might bake faster in these little containers as opposed to in a big pan together. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Hello, hello. Super messy too, that makes me feel a little better, you guys. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pop these in or 20 to 20 or 25 to 30 minutes. So we're gonna go 25 minutes and see the, where that takes us. We are gonna do our giveaway after we make our frosting. So with our frosting, we are going to, um, so with the brownies, when you insert a toothpick and the center comes out clean, then they're ready, just like a cake, you guys. Um, it says that you do want to Frost your brownies while they are still warm. You only want them to stand for about 15 minutes once you pull them out of the oven and then frost them while they're still warm, you guys. Hello, hello. Um, I'm Daisy Joe. I'm thinking they may take less time because they are separated. So we will see. I'm going to keep an eye on them. Ready to order the brownie pan from your niece's party. Awesome. Yes, my kids love helping me cook as well and love help eating. Recently did meatloaf and muffin pans and it was so perfect. Cook faster and portion for perfectly. I love those little little muffin pans, little brownie pans. Like I like individually served things. Another really cool thing um, if you have a Pampered Chef party going on right now is this cake tester because I used it for our bread and I like how long it is so you're not having to stick a little short toothpick into something and burning yourself or whatever. So this is through P Pampered Chef and then this bottom part is a releaser. So if my edges of my brownies do stick, I just use this and release the edge pieces with this same tool. Super, super awesome, you guys. Yes, that is an awesome idea about little mini meatloafs, you guys. Super awesome idea. So don't forget to leave your reactions on the post, you guys. We are doing two giveaways today, so don't forget to leave your reactions. Um, our giveaways are always food and kitchen-related items until some of these partners um, that I'm working with, um, till we start to progress, and then I'll start giving away their items as well. Um, Daisy, I think so. I think I want to take the brownies out of their little pans before I frost them just so I can kind of hold them like a cupcake and frost them instead of trying to work around that little tiny pan. All right, we are going to make our frosting. We're going to beat together the frosting items until they're smooth and then we're going to pour them over the warm brownies and let them cool before cutting. So I actually, it sounds like I'm going to have to frost them in the container. Uh, sounds like I'm going to want them to kind of melt. I have brownie stuff everywhere. Well, then I'm going to want that frosting to kind of melt over. You guys, look, I just smeared chocolate all over the front of this. How funny. I am a mess today, you guys. So I'm going to pull out. Um, this is the one that came with my KitchenAid mixer. Um, so I did buy that other one separately. We are going to make 
are frosting. Right now, I'm gonna just rinse off my whisk attachment for my KitchenAid mixer. The best I can. Not a huge deal, it's just chocolate on chocolate on chocolate, but we're gonna do that really quick. Just clean this off. I have that brownie pan where you push the divider into the batter so it bakes separate. That way you can add different things, nuts, sprinkles. Oh, that sounds cool. You have an apple fritter bread in the oven right now. Yum, that sounds delicious. Brownie says today gone already. Have you looked like we need more brownies? That's awesome. I love that. Now you want to make brownies? Come make brownies with us. The cheeseburger biscuits next. The Phillies crystal, your family's going to love the Phillies 10 times more. I promise you they are so good. Can't have too much chocolate at all. Also, you guys, don't forget, I'm going out of town on Wednesday next week. So Thursday's show and the weekend show will be in Texas with my dad. We are going to be making um, a carrot cake with coconuts, carrots, and pineapple for my dad's birthday cake. We're actually making little bunk cakes and then um, red velvet or white chocolate raspberry, haven't decided yet, little bunk cakes for my birthday. So we're gonna be in Texas. You guys are gonna get to meet my dad and cook with my dad. Um, I'm really excited for it and his roommate Ashley. So tune in next week, you guys, to see me in Texas with my dad. We're celebrating our birthdays together in quarantine. I'm April 23rd and he's the 24th of April. So we're going to celebrate and hang out together, which I'm super, super excited for. All right. So we need a fourth of cup of softened butter. We need milk. The person used 2% for her recipe and then unsweetened cocoa and powdered sugar. Yes, you guys, I'm so excited. I love Red Velvet too, but um, Nothing But Cakes is my favorite cake company, and they make a white chocolate raspberry bug cake, and I really like that. So I might make that instead of my Red Velvet that I usually make for my birthday. So I'm going to take this stick of butter. I'm hoping it's softened enough. Let's soften it a little bit in the microwave. So I am going to soften my butter a little bit in the microwave. And we're just gonna add all the ingredients together, you guys. All of them together. So we need a fourth of a cup of milk, 2% whole milk, skim milk, just some milk, you guys. So fourth of a cup of milk, a fourth of a cup of unsweetened cocoa. Here, Texas is lifting some quarantine restrictions. That would be awesome. Maybe we can sit by his pool and hang out by the barbecue. <laughs> I'm glad I get to travel too. I am a little nervous, but I've got my mask and I've got my sanitary wipes and my um, and my antibacterial stuff. So, and then we're just gonna quarantine together in his apartment with him. So, I'm flying, you guys. Yes, flying. My dad is the best, you guys. Oh, you got to Skype him yesterday. That's so awesome. I know. I wish we all lived closer to each other, you guys. Um, I am flying, you guys. I am flying. So, um, the. Uh, flight company did message me and say that they do do social distancing on the plane because I was a little worried about that. Um, so they did let me know that they do social distancing on the plane so our seats are um, separated out from each other and then I obviously have my mask that I'm going to wear um, and my sanitizer and my wipes all packed up. So I will be as safe as I can be you guys and then when I come back here I'll have to quarantine which that'll be fine. Um, you know what? I'm not sure. So I'm going to mix together my milk and my butter first a little bit before I put in my powdered sugar and my, my cocoa powder. Yes, I'm going by myself, you guys. I don't want to risk my family, my kiddos or anything. So um, I am going by myself. Oh, I love biscuits and gravy. <laughs> Yes, I'm excited to make memories with him for our birthdays. We always celebrate together since they are so close together. Um, yes, yes. I love it, you guys. I will be as safe as possible. I will do take all my precautions. So we need a fourth of a cup of cocoa powder. And three cups of powdered sugar. Mm. The vacuum do down there? Yes. It is? Yes. <laughs> What are you doing? Uh, I'm just gonna suck up all the little insects. Mm. Yep, yeah, sorry. 
All right, so we need three cups of powdered sugar. My husband came up, he was vacuuming downstairs. He's like, is that vacuum too loud? And it was a little loud. So he's gonna vacuum later. His favorite thing ever is vacuuming and dishes. You guys, I married the right man. I handle the cooking and he handles the dishes and the vacuuming. <laughs> all right, three cups of powdered sugar. And then we're just gonna mix it all up until it's nice and smooth for our brownies. And then we'll do our giveaway. So once our frosting is all made, we'll do our giveaway. Then I'll clean up my kitchen and frost my brownies. I'm going the 22nd through the 26th. And so yes, their dad is going to have them here at the house, keeping them safe and occupied. Um, I love my kids to death, but we um, have been quarantined since March 12th. And so we are all a little sick of each other. So um, we are going to uh, kind of give mommy some alone time. I live in North Dakota. Yes, you guys, so blessed. He loves dishes, he loves them. So he is awesome when it comes to that. He loves dishes, loves vacuuming. Um, he finds it relaxing. Um, it takes him forever to do dishes, but I just sit back and let it happen because um, because he enjoys it so much and it gives me a break. I do do dishes obviously, but he loves to do them. So I let him do them as much as possible. <laughs> yes, my house needs a good vacuum always. I've got two dogs and two cats and two kids. My house constantly does. So this is a little thick for me. I am gonna add a little bit more butter. I mean a little bit more milk to um, loosen up this frosting a little bit. It was really, really thick. So if your guys' frosting was a little too thick, just add a little bit more milk or a little bit more butter and it'll loosen up a little bit. But a little bit, like a tablespoon or two tablespoons of milk. Don't go crazy. A little too much. Oh no. You live in Wilson. Hello, Megan. Yes, a warm brownie with coffee. We had um, banana bread with our coffee this morning. Banana bread with the brown butter frosting was phenomenal. Um, Nicole, my mom and my grandma asked me that same question, like, what are they going to eat? Well, my husband just bought a week's worth of frozen waffles for breakfast, um, and we've got a lot of chicken nuggets and frozen pizza, so they will be on their own, you guys. I'm not going to prep any food for them. We have a ton of leftovers, like we always do, so they'll have that, and that's about it. All right. So, my frosting is ready. I will show you guys kind of what it looks like. Um, so that those of you that are making it with me have kind of a, a rough go by for what it looks like. Just like that. Cincinnati, but lived in Minot for 24 years. Hubby is a retired Air Force. Awesome. Yes, we have the Minot Air Force Base right here. I live in Delax, um, which is about 15 miles outside of Minot. Eileen, yes, we are just 15 miles outside of Minot, um, living out here in the country. Kitty, I should send you this banana bread recipe. It is so good, but it's like brown banana bars. So it's in a big sheet. Yes, Daisy Joe. Yes, Eileen, these are still those nail stickers. Super awesome, super fun. I did them yesterday, sitting on the couch watching TV all by myself. I, it only took like 15 minutes to do all of my nails. Super awesome, you guys. Color Street Nails. If you want to um, buy off of my party that I have right now, just let me know and I will post the link. Um, my party will be going on all week. I highly recommend these nails for anybody that normally gets their nails done at the salon or even if you're just tired of painting your nails at home. These are so awesome. Yes, Nicole, it would be. Nice, not far. I got there in February in an hour and 20 minutes. Oops. <laughs> we are neighbors. Um, they should last two weeks. So uh, mine would have been two weeks on Monday, but I changed them off um, because mine had just grown out so much. But they lasted. They even were actually kind of a pain to take off with nail polish remover because they were so good and so stuck on there. Um, but it, it was awesome. Thank you, yes, I love these, you guys. All right, so our frosting is ready. Let's do our giveaway. I will quit chit-chatting so we can do our giveaway, and then we only have about 12 minutes left on my brownies, 
and I will frost them after that. Just kind of clean up this counter. Get your last reactions in, you guys. We're going to do two giveaways today. I always do kitchen and food related items. Once um, my partnerships with some of these other companies um, go a little bit further, I'll start giving away their items as well. I will buy them for you guys and send them um, to kind of support their company um, and, and um, so that they can broadcast on their page about me and our winners and stuff like that. Yes, Tammy, it is a game changer. Hello, Don. I seriously got lost somewhere out that way. Was going to Valley City, the stop outside of Minot. I took a wrong turn and came to the backside of Minot by the hospital. And my mom had no idea how it happened. We are, uh, if you take the bypass, this is one big circle around the town, so I could see how it happens. Hello, Judy and Krista. Um, so, um, Megan Martin, since you are so chatty today and I love it, will you pick two numbers between 1 and 12 for our giveaway? Um, just two numbers between 1 and 12, and those will be the names that we pull out that win. Um, if you've already won for the month of April, you can't win again until May. But, um, I cut the recipe in half, starting a bit before you. It's still in the oven. Are they not done, Amy? Cause I'll be curious, I should check on mine because they might cook faster um, in, in those little separated out. Thank you guys all for sharing. There's a nail polish from on Amazon that helps the color street polish off. It's a mineral fusion nail polish remover. Yeah, I was just using, you know, the good old tight and true um, nail polish remover that I have. You guys are awesome, thank you for sharing. We are gonna do our giveaway, Megan, three and five, awesome. Weird, Amy, I wonder why they are taking longer to cook in your oven. Let me know, you guys, if anybody else is baking with me, let me know if yours are taking a little bit longer than the allotted time. So it's supposed to be 25 to 30 minutes. Um, so if it's taking longer than that, please let me know. It's a good thing. It's been about 33 minutes for Amy. So, um, what size pan did you use, Amy? It might be, um, you might have used a shorter pan than the recipe calls for, but just let me know so that I can make changes to the recipe if needed. Loved those brownies, made them for years. Glad I have no nails, but I do need a haircut and eyebrows. Um, yep, I did my own eyebrows um, the other day. I have a little waxing kit, so I did my own eyebrows the other day. Um, and did my husband's eyebrows for him. I do need a haircut and color, but that's not gonna happen for a while. So nails are about all I can do by myself. Yes, you guys, these brownies, I'm excited for them. I hope that they taste good. I'm just getting these names, excuse me, all sorted so that we can do our giveaway. We're doing two giveaways today. You guys have been totally awesome. I appreciate all of your love and support you guys during this time. I'm trying to pick recipes um, that we have the ingredients here readily available in our houses. Um, quick and easy, simple recipes that use very few ingredients because I know how hard it is to grow, go grocery shopping um, and how hard it is when um, a lot of the items are actually missing from the grocery store. So we are doing our best to make do being cooped up inside with limited resources. It's a tastefully simple pan, it's a square pan. Um, so it's probably small and square like this because the recipe calls for a bigger pan than that, Amy, I think is your issue right now. Um, the pan you needed to use needed to be a nine by 13. So if yours is square, it's probably a nine by nine, which means you're about a couple inches short, which is making them thicker, which is making them take longer. So Amy, next time put um, in a cake pan, a nine by 13 cake pan, and they may um, go a little bit faster for you. I am in North Dakota. Yes, you're welcome, Crystal. <laughs> yeah, it is more natural. My fruits are definitely showing. Usually mine are purple instead of brown, but it's okay. Yes, Nicole, one of these days you will cook with me. One of these days. All right, so three and five. Three and five are gonna be our numbers today. Three and five. Don't forget, you guys, I am partnering up with a clothing company called Dopamine Threads. So um, check them out. Um, their link is in the description of this video. Um, I will provide you with, um, I will provide you guys with um, a, a promotional code so that you guys can 
um, put that in when you guys are buying the t-shirt so that we can track how our partnership is doing with that company. Oh, I forgot, Amy, you did cut them in half. So that would make sense. 35 minutes. Is South Dakota a hot spot? I don't know. I'm in North Dakota and we um, are really um, doing well as far as the um, virus goes, especially Ward County. We've gone uh, seven days, I think, without a positive case here, which is really awesome. Okay, so three and five are the numbers I keep forgetting of short-term memory loss. Megan, I do not use toning shampoo because I have extensions. Um, when I use the toning shampoo, my extensions turn purple and my hair does not. So I normally would, but uh, can't because of my extensions. My hair is actually short. So three and five are going to be our winners today, you guys. Three and five. And if I pull your name and you have won already for the month of April, I will remove your name and pull another one. So I have the names right here. Here we go. Number one, Joshua. Number two, Charlene. And number three, Sasha Fisher is our first winner today. Sasha Fisher, congratulations. Message Mom Feeling Hungry Boys, you are shipping information. Sorry, guys. Your shipping information, I will get something sent off to you. Now we got two more names to pull. 90 new cases today, I heard, in South Dakota. Scary. All right, number four, Sharon Leach. And number five... Deneen Mossbrucker. Deneen Mossbrucker, you are our second winner today. Congratulations. Send me your shipping information. I'll get something sent off to you. Congratulations to the winners, you guys. I will add their names now before I forget to my paper. Deneen Mossbrucker. And I already forgot the other one. Oops. I have really bad short-term memory apparently. All right, you guys, so we have about five minutes left, it says. So I'm gonna pull these out and test them with my little cake tester and see how we are doing. I definitely overfilled them. They are not ready. So I just tested them. This is not what you want. Um, you want it to come out clean. Couple crumbs on it is fine, um, but you don't want it to be doughy like that. So um, that one is definitely not done. I'm gonna check these side ones. They are still doughy as well. So even my ones that are a little less filled are not ready to come out. So I am thinking we're gonna do the full 30 minutes for those. And then remember, just let them cool for about 10, 15 minutes, then frost them while they are still warm so that the frosting spreads evenly onto them um, and then let them cool before you slice them. Um, congratulations, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Remember, next week I will be in Texas. I will be home for Monday's show, but Thursday on the weekend show will be in Texas. So bear with me as I um, post recipes and stuff like that. As my dad comes up with them, he's not very good at recipes. He kind of just cooks, which is awesome. I love that style and I like being able to pull recipes out of his brain, things that he's done for years and never written a recipe for. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. Those winners, just remember to message me your shipping information and I'll get something sent off to you. So I appreciate all of you guys hanging out with me today. Don't forget to check out Dopamine Threads. I'm really excited about that partnership and you guys will be seeing a lot more of them and me together. So have an awesome rest of your weekend, you guys. Bye.